We have another case of an overdose involving carfentanil. Unfortunately, this gentleman has taken too much and we've already administered the naloxone, upwards of 10 milligrams. Thankfully, he's stable for the time being. This is a 10th opioid related case in Hamilton. It's becoming a problem in this city. Carfentanil is classified as an analgesic, otherwise known as painkillers. It is a synthetic opioid that is very potent. Opioids in general have morphine-like effects on the body. However, in the case of carfentanil, it has a 10,000 times stronger potency than morphine, making it very lethal. Carfentanil was first synthesized by chemists at Janssen Pharmaceutica in 1974. Its original use was to be a sedative for large animals. Due to its extreme potency, it was not used for humans, as even a microgram would show its effects in the human body. Carfentanil was first introduced for human application to study addiction and pleasure response. Then, in 2002, when Chechen rebels held over 800 people hostage and an unknown aerosol was used. It was not until 2012, when urine samples were analyzed, that carfentanil and remifentanil, another potent opioid, was found. The reason carfentanil is being used recreationally is to boost the high experience when taking drugs like heroin. We have seen a lot of news on carfentanil and fentanyl lately. In an article published by The Guardian, it was stated that a carfentanil equivalent to a grain of sand can cause death. That may sound unbelievable, but there has been research to show that this claim may not be as exaggerated as it seems. In a report published by the European Monitoring Centre for Drugs, they looked at 33 carfentanil-related cases of death, and the amount that was found was 4.4 nanograms per milliliter of blood. The average volume of blood in a person is about 5 liters. That means the total amount circulating in blood could be as much as 22,000 nanograms. The weight of a single grain of sand, according to the World Book Encyclopedia, is 0.67 milligrams or 607,000 nanograms. This means that even less than a grain amount of carfentanil can kill you and that the exaggeration for this claim is warranted. Another claim in the article states that carfentanil is 100 times more toxic than fentanyl and 10,000 times more toxic than morphine. But it's important to differ between both potency and toxicity. Potency refers to the level amount of substance needed to elicit a response. Toxicity is the extent to which a substance can cause damage to you. According to the National Center of Biotechnology Information, carfentanil is 10,000 times more potent than morphine and 100 times more potent than fentanyl. And this is backed by many studies. However, it is much harder to assess toxicity. Toxicity, again, is the extent to which damage is caused to an organism by a substance. To clarify, pain in animals can help determine level of toxicity since we cannot test on humans. One study looked at toxicity of carfentanil compared to fentanyl in mice. They found that when they used the same amount of fentanyl and carfentanil to elicit pain, fentanyl was actually deemed more toxic since it caused a higher pain response than carfentanil. This shows that even though carfentanil is more, more potent, fentanyl is actually more toxic in mice. The claim that carfentanil is more toxic than fentanyl is technically inaccurate, and it is better to switch the term toxic to potent. Another claim made by the article is that carfentanil can be used as a weapons of mass destruction agent. This is also not an exaggeration. Carfentanil is extremely potent, and it is for this reason that its mode of transmission includes inhalation, ingestion, intravenous injection, and even absorption through the skin. In fact, carfentanil is so potent that paramedics must wear respirators and protective robes when treating an individual who has potentially come in contact with carfentanil. If someone even touches it, it can cause a fatal reaction. Overall, the take-home message is that it is important to look at the specifics of what is being said in media. If a claim seems too good or too flamboyant to be true, then look into the claims on your own. It should be backed by academic studies. To conclude, carfentanil is not being intended for consumption as a recreational drug. 
the RCMP says that illegal opioids being used, such as morphine and fentanyl, are actually contaminated with carfentanil, which can cause a drug overdose. This is because these illegal drugs are not being tested in any way during manufacturing, so it is possible that they are laced through contamination. For more information about carfentanil and other opioids, see the Canadian Centre on Substance Abuse Drugs Alerts website.